All right, we got our wipers all fixed on that sucker and we're back to this one. So, I'm gonna see what today's plans bring us. Uh, I think I'll try to make the bed mounts. I think that'll be the, the one thing. We'll get it sort of supported on there. Get the bed kind of made up. Uh, I might first lift the cab. We could probably run the fuel. No, let's start with the box. I think the box is my go-to. From there, we can kind of lift the cab and figure out some other stuff, but we're gonna build some braces and a few things for there. We got to revamp the back here to hold the box up properly. And uh, then we can come back and revisit the front there. I'm knowing I got to do, uh, well, whatever. We got to run our brake lines, fuel lines, all that stuff. So I might run those all up before we start running the steering and things. But first things first, we want to just get the bed, bed mounted so we can kind of come on and off, but it's kind of in its resting place. Let's put it that way. Anywho, we're going to move that truck out. We'll get this one up. And we can get the box back over here and we'll figure out what we're going to do. Well, I got the box sitting about where it's supposed to be, or at least I think it should be. Looks pretty good. The line's good there. Down here looks good. Good gaps all in there, stuff like that. So, I guess the uh, next step is, I'm gonna run some braces across. I guess I'll dump them like roughly where the original ones were. Why not, right? For what it's worth. And uh, so I can do one there. The back is going to just be supported from here. I'm going to make a mount somewhere for it onto there. We'll do one brace across the tank there. And then I don't know if I need to tower off the front or not. It'll probably be okay at that point. Probably should have one in the front, but uh, I'm thinking between the three mounting points, I'm good. Unless I just build a rigger off the motor, off the off the frame, because right now I just have it supported off the wood blocks and that's kind of doing what I need it to do right now. Everything, like I say, looks good. We could probably shim and stuff, but we're gonna have to come up with an idea in the back. I have the original, well, whatever the feller made, but I don't know if that makes sense at this point or I'm just better off making my own thing. Um, when we run the side, might run the side rails going. I'm just going to do some angle iron and we're going to zap it down and that'll be the new floor. Uh, the fuel filler, what we're going to do is I'll shorten this thing all down and we're just going to have it come out the bottom on the side here just with a quick, you know, like a little whatever, change the top out so it's got a, a normal looking clicker style. I don't know, like a regular filler. <laughs> we could change that one, but We'll pull the tank out of the truck, but I don't know, probably for looks, we're just gonna leave this one here so it doesn't uh, look completely out of place. But yeah, I'm pretty happy way everything's going. The running boards, I mean, are like super rough, but kind of just fits the, the patina of the rest of the truck here. So anywho, I'm gonna get start cutting just to get these couple braces figured out. 
and then at least the box can stay on here by itself and then we'll we'll rejigger the back here figure out what we got to do for those and then we'll kind of redo these insanely huge tubs insanely huge <laughs> all righty first things first do some cutting
All right, that's not bad. We got everything in. I screwed up over there somehow, don't know. So I had to cut that loose and bring it down. For some reason I had it in at a goofy angle. All fixed. We got it all tacked around. Basically the idea is the wood will be able to lay on there. It'll cut across these braces. It's gonna just fit over those filler hoses and stuff. Uh, we'll look at the filler hose after. And we'll look at a way to bolt the front section of that box yet. I'm gonna make something that it can sit on a pad and bolt down on the lower part under the floor. So essentially, right here, I'm gonna make either something on top of the frame or I'm gonna come off the side of the frame and hold it. Probably come off the side because then I can put a bolt through it. We'll see how that works. Um, I was trying to come up with all kinds of goofy ideas to overcomplicate the back of this section for the mount, but just came to the conclusion I should just get another rail, run it across the top here, and then I'll tie the back into it. Not everywhere, but I'll probably do a brace or two just off this heavier pipe or a tubing that somebody's put in here. So we'll do that and then we can just sandwich it at the back of the cab here or the back of the frame. And that'll pretty much conclude this section. We have the tailgate there, but it's gonna need to make some mounts. Uh, I noticed it has one rail on the bottom, but not the other one. So I might do with this one like I was gonna do on my other one, which I was just gonna do uh, a 90 elbow, like some uh, pipe and just use it as the bushing for the tailgate to swing open on. But I'll find that and then I'll show you how I do that. Anywho, I'm gonna cut one of these super quick and then I'm gonna set it in there and then we'll probably just do like a plate or two just up for this thing to brace against it, if that makes sense. Alrighty. So I got all the mounts in now. Well, we got our braces. I'm just gonna do the three. The front one's not really relevant. I'm not really too worried about it. It's not like this truck is actually gonna haul anything other than some coolers and stuff like that. Um, but I got all of my holes drilled. Everything's welded. Uh, we'll have to tackle the inner tubs yet. Not too worried at the moment. But I gotta do that and I gotta do uh, the filler neck. <clears throat> My plan for the filler is I'm going to take this thing off and we're going to try to do a straight shot which might come between this rib. I'm hoping not. Either it's going to come through here, which I'm thinking that. I want it under the floor. And it'll come out and either it'll spout up or not. I'll just kind of reuse the original filler. We can always change that after. Uh, I'm going to get it to poke through and then I'll do the vent just a little bit past it. Because as you can see on here, the vent is... Oh, maybe I can. Maybe I'll just shorten it and I can leave the vent and then poke this bit out of the out of the box side there. I don't know, it should be pretty easy. Pretty simple. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. Let's just unbolt this junk and see what will and won't work. I'm pretty sure that's the right shot that it's got to go out. As long as we can fill it. That's the important part. We want to keep it there so there's a upward angle. <laughs> <laughs> so nobody's hating me when I'm trying when they're trying to fill it. Yeah, it'll work. It'll work.
Well, that worked out better, though I think we're still gonna have to experiment. I'm not sure if that's low enough and it needs to come up a little bit. But for now, we'll try it. Uh, like it's because it's technically higher than there, yada yada. I don't know. But this prevents what happening is when you're filling it where it keeps kicking it out. This just lets air in so it doesn't gush back. So I don't know. Hopefully it'll work. It doesn't look terrible on this side. We'll still have to do a grommet or do something around it. Uh, it'll need something to finish it up, but and a different cap. This one got broken, but but it's kind of out of the way. Not it's not other than that particular cap on it. It's not super obvious. It doesn't need the vent because <clears throat> well maybe it does vent or one of these is probably a vent because one's a feed, one's a return. Yeah, one one of these is a vent. So. It doesn't need a vented cap. If you wanted to put something vintage or put that other cap on it, it would work fine. So we got that done, this done. We still should brace this, but I don't know. Like, this is plenty strong. Yeah, the box isn't going anywhere. I might just run a couple of little braces just up on the sides here, or just something. Because you can kind of fill this in later with whatever a feller wants. Well, I guess like I say, I'll probably do the side. That way I can just do a sheet metal something filler because the tailgate will come. No, nah, we want to go from the tailgate down. Just talking out loud. Yeah, we're not worried about it. We'll just leave it. We'll let whoever does the bed floor figure that out. <clears throat> I think next thing we should do though is our wheel tubs. We should uh, trim those down and uh, get them where they well, we're going to come up to the edge of the frame. That's kind of the idea here. So, yeah, let's grab those, trim them up. We will, we're going to lap them over and just spot them on. It'll be good enough for what it is, but we will have to build a filler on the inside. So we will we'll find some steel, cut and trim to desired hole on the inside there. Alrighty. Well, let's trim and figure it out. Cause we'll leave this. I want to leave this inner lip like that. So we're gonna fill that face in. Slice and dice.
Okie doke. Well, don't know what I talked about last, but essentially we've trimmed down our lips. I made these, I cut these out. I have to fix this a bit, but I tipped the edge. That's why you see this. Like I, be, I bead rolled it and then I tipped the edge. Tipped it or stepped it. That's the right way to say it. The idea for that is when we mount it in, it'll kind of have this, I guess, fancy look. <laughs> From this side, when it comes in, it'll be stepped under and uh, it'll just kind of continue the bubble look. So I don't know. I got fancy with it. I'm going to zap it in from the back side and then we can either leave this edge or you could just seam seal it. Uh, but yeah, it's kind of straightforward. Like I say, we're just going to come in like this here and kind of zap it all in. And then we can kind of stab it in the truck and... I think that just about does the box. We'll have to do the tailgate yet. And mm, what else? Once we do that, I didn't get anything today. I should have grabbed those bits. I could make something yet. I'm not sure. We'll have to do that. We'll have to make uh, tail light mounts. That'll be in. Then it's just, yeah, whenever the feather wants to. Oh, we'll make some braces here. I'm going to do something yet. I'm not sure what, but there'll be some up and down brace of some kind in here right well let's start welding <laughs> let's get those let's get those inner tubs done and in
Well, we got our boxes bolted down. I'm gonna build a filter for this because I just want to now. <laughs> I guess ideally, actually, you know what? I'm gonna build a filler that goes up. It's gonna come up here and come over, like square this up and make this back look finished. Our tailgate, we went with the Uber Simple. Just cut some really big bolts, then we zapped them on. Eh. I mean, whatever, it's just a simple slice if we had to take this off for some reason, but I really don't know why a feller would have to take that tailgate off. At least, I don't know. I'm sure there's a reason, but not. Um, I'm gonna have to drill these holes out, or at least drill all these so I can uh, bolt the fenders on properly. So we're gonna do that right away. And then I'm gonna make some uh, taillight brackets. We got the lights today, so that's cool. But unfortunately, like it came with these awesome brackets, but the way the lights are, we're going with the Model A style lights on here. These brackets go down. It's like, ah, uh, if these were this way, they would be perfect, which sucks. So we're gonna work with this and then modify this to be able to weld onto the side. So essentially when this sits here, it needs to actually sit straight off to this side. And then we could zap it onto the bed post there and be, 100%. Anywho, let's start with the simple. Let's just make that that step down under the box. Then at least, you know, the the arse end is kind of all done there. And uh, yeah, then we'll move on to do these lights. Who would have thought drilling holes to bolt something in would be so much work? In here. Come on. You can do it. There we go. So we got our tailgate on. We made this filler panel. So when the floor happens now, it'll just come up to the edge of this. So this will clean up the gap nicely. So that's done. We got the fenders all bolted in so we got all the bolts on the side that's all done so the only thing left to button up the back here is going to be those taillight brackets so i'm going to bolt these together and i'm going to figure out how i want to do this there's a whole lot of suck here essentially i want this but like this if this sat where this was like if i mounted this sideways it'd be perfect so i don't know i think i'll bolt that or this will bolt on. It might be just as easy as just making a little scabbing a tab off the side of here that'll just bolt on. Should work, right? If I did this and I just had a little straight up piece, that'd be more than enough. 
I don't know. I'll find some of my scrap steel here, see if I can burn something on the side, clean it up, and we can make it look good. Well, we are done the box. That's perfect. Perfect, like it. We got our lights in there too, so that's good. I doubled up that side if you noticed, and now, because it's got the, uh, the license plate laid on it, so I've added a plate mount underneath there. So that stuff actually worked out really well. Uh, we still have to wire everything and deal with all that, but I think the box is done. Um, we'll have to work on the fuel system, things like that. So I think where we're at, we are the end of this round, but uh, I think next round coming up, I'm going to start focusing on the fuel system and get the brake lines run. That way we can actually like bolt the cab down and it can stay down. We'll pull this fuel tank out. Yeah. It's got to do some stuff to the motor yet. Like I have to, uh, it's got a couple broken studs. So I'll take the manifolds off, fix that. Try to see if we can jimmy rig that exhaust, if it'll work. But mostly we'll work on the fuel system, brakes, get all the brake lines in. I guess if we get the cab bolted down, we can start looking at the uh, pedal and the master cylinder and the steering column scenario. So anywho, I want to thank you folks for watching and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Later. <laughs>